no business in that respect. And we therefore come to item number nine, the transfer of Auckland Council-owned Morris Shadbolt's house and writer's studio uh, at Arapito Road, Titarangi, to the Going West uh, Trust. And I'm not sure whether we have uh, officers, uh, I think they're online. So I acknowledge Philippa Carroll, our community lease advisor, uh, Taryn Crew, our general manager, community facilities, and we've also got uh, Claudia Weiss and Yusuf Khan uh, with us. So um, if I can get, so we've got the motion on the table, which is to seek uh, approval from the governing body to transfer ownership of the uh, of the assets, uh, that's the house and the studio, and a lease on the land uh, to the Going West Trust. Um, Councillor Linda Cooper has asked to move, and Councillor Shane Henderson asked to, to second this. And uh, I think, um, Philippa, you may be leading off uh, with a report from officials. Um, Kira, yes, I'm... Sorry. Yeah, my report just echoes um, what the uh, Going West Trust and the Waitakere Local Board have said. Uh, this just allows the trust to carry out all the amazing work they're going to do at you know no cost to council. And like you've said, hopefully it's a win-win situation for everybody. Thanks, Philippa. That's uh, short and sweet. And do we have anything um, uh, from Taryn or anybody else uh, from our officers? I think. Um, we've had a good introduction uh, from Going West Trust and, and from Waitakere Local Board. Um, so I'll open it up for, I think I'll do questions and comments together. Um, so Councillor Linda Cooper to begin. Just the question is around, um, do we think this, when I mean, there will be building consent work required, I imagine, um, are we able to ensure support through that system? I'm not saying we shouldn't go through that system, absolutely, because it's, um, you know, the, the risk of instability on that slope. We've got to make sure it's done right. But um, will there be um, good support to get through that process? Um, because we know that can be tricky sometimes for the trust. Or is that not your department? Um, no, regulatory is separate from CF. Yes, but if they is. need anything like land donor approval, we'll definitely support them with um, those types of letters. Thank yeah. yeah, thank you. Did you want me to speak? Yeah, if you'd like I'll to. I'll get that the done time. then. Um, yeah. Thank you. Um, first of all, I mean, I, I'm very pleased to see this happening because the Going West Trust has always had bold aspirations and acted courageously in the things that they've wanted to do. Um, and it's amazing to see, without kind of a full council backing as they had before, to be able to keep, but, but now the local board, to keep going with that. And it is often the same people that keep doing these in our communities. They're people that, with vision, um, and also just the fact that it will address, you know, help to address the quality of writing. You know, we've had some amazing New Zealand writers, people like C.K. Stead, artist Colin McCann, Don Binney out west, and to be able to keep that legacy going and provide somewhere. I mean, our own, it's almost our own little Catherine Mansfield type um, retreat, but in Titarangi. Um, but those opportunities, for writers of all forms are critical to their development. But also, you know, often people just need that time because people are time poor and they've often got to, you know, do other jobs, all sorts of other things to actually um, ply their art and contribute really fully and richly to um, society and to the canon of work coming out of New Zealand. So I'm really pleased, you know, that you've been willing to take it on. It is really courageous. Because as we know, voluntary organisations have to do the tough stuff. They have to raise the funds. They have to write the applications. They have to do all of that stuff, and it's all unpaid. But it comes out of passion and love for what they do and actually um, investing in our future. You know, they're not doing it for themselves. They're doing it for our future and the future of writing. So I'm really pleased to support this, and I hope everyone else does. And I also um, know that there will still be a lot of support required, in particular moral support, from our local elected members out west. But I think this is bigger than the west. This is actually um, for Auckland and New Zealand. It's really critical that we've got um, supporting the art of writing. It's, it's getting lost, and as you said, it's all about the clickbait which is a real detriment to, to real deep thinking and, and ideas and things like that. It, it's, it's like sheep following 
you know, a quick thrill, and, and we need less of that and more um, literature and, and things that provoke um, intelligent thought. So I think this is a really great opportunity. I remember actually visiting the site, gosh, it would have been about 2005, and even then it was like, oh, this needs a bit of work. But we know in the intervening 16 years, when nothing is lived in, there will be other issues. But um, this is a start to get this going, and we can be proud of another residence um, in, in the West um, for our artists. So thank you so much to the Trust. Really appreciate it. And I look forward to support around the table. And thank you, Mr Mayor, for your kind words. Thank you very much, Councillor, and I think you've probably summed it up uh, beautifully. There may not be a requirement for anybody else to, uh, to speak after that, but I'll just check if there's any questions or comments uh, that anybody else would like to make. No? Well, look, uh, just really repeating what I said before, I, I, I think it's fantastic uh, that the Going West Trust has picked up the, this challenge and... Uh, has the vision of what this what this home can be in terms of a, a future a future writers in residence uh, location, and preserving a, a piece of history that's important to the West, but actually important to all of Auckland. Um, I think Linda's made a, a good case for the West being the cultural centre of the the city in her comments, and the West has certainly produced people that um, you you all can be rightly proud of. Uh, part of our history, part of my history, uh, the era in which uh, Morris was writing and writing about, uh, very much coincides with. Uh, uh, a few other baby boomers, including myself, that are sitting uh, uh, in the room. I won't say around the table because, um, well, maybe one or two around the table, uh, Deputy Mayor. So, look, uh, we, 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 yeah, few, few honest people owning up to this. Um, look, we, we wish the, the trust well in the task that you've got ahead of you, and I know you'll be supported by the local board, and you'll have our sympathy and support uh, in in the ways that we can help to from, from Council for the future. So um, really looking forward to seeing the outcome of what, what will happen on this site and, uh, and congratulate you all. Uh, it's been a long time coming, <laughs> you know, right back to the days of the Legacy Council uh, and it's time now to get on and, and realise that vision and get it done. So uh, with that, I'm going to put the motion um, all those in favour, please say aye. Aye. Just waiting for any delay on offer online uh, votes. Um, and those opposed, uh, no. I declare the motion carried and I think carried unanimously. So thank you very much for everybody and thank you for the work officials have done. What a great way to, to start the meeting today. Right, thank you very much. Now we get on to 